I'm here with Jana Kramer, whose new book, The Next Chapter, is now available wherever books are sold. Speaking of the next chapter, that includes a new baby boy. Coming very soon. <laughs> <laughs> new baby with a new fiance and a wedding to plan. All of this joy after the very turbulent, very public end of her marriage to Mike Cawson. Surrounded by pieces of vows that were broken. In Beautiful Lies, the actress and country singer shared her pain in music. Now it's spilling out in the pages of her very personal book. I do want to talk about the next chapter, just the title, the next chapter. What does it mean to you? Oh, man. Um, well, for me, it was kind of like I have to have this next chapter and, and, I, and I'm, I'm about to be on it whether I wanted to or not. Uh, when I filed for divorce, that was that was my next chapter and I had to turn the page, even though, again, it was very hard. I didn't necessarily at the time want to turn that page, but I knew that that was the only way forward. Moving forward, reinventing herself after surviving a six year infidelity filled marriage. Was there a moment that you knew that your marriage was over or was it just a few things happening? Yeah, I get this question a lot, especially in my DMs. It's like, okay, what was the final straw? How did you know when to leave? And I always say like, it. and I even had a friend tell me this too, like, you're gonna know when it's time to leave. And after every time, you know, he would cheat or I'd find something, I would still be staying. She did find the strength to leave. And while they're tight co-parents today of their two kids, there were painful moments even after the split. When you're sorting out your settlement, he said something very painful to you, which is that he said, I never loved you. Those words are heavy. Mm -hmm. Well, then it hurt like hell. But I know now that he didn't love himself. I believe that in the marriage, he loved me to his um, ability and with all he knew how to give at the time. So in the moment though, yeah, of course, when I heard that, I'm like, oh, well, that's why you did all the things you did is because you never really loved me and I wasn't good enough to be loved. And so I, I mean, that's, that spiraled me, that, that comment. But now again, knowing and the work that I've done since then, knowing that that had nothing to do with me. Christmas is no <laughs> Your divorce was public. It was difficult. Mm -hmm. What gave you the courage to still put yourself out there and continue to search for love? I just, I will always believe in love. I will always believe, I, 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 I just, I don't want anything that happened in my past or anything that I've gone through to go, oh, I should never trust a man again. That's not fair just because of his choices that he made in the relationship. I deserve a healthy relationship. I deserve a man that won't cheat and respects me and loves me. That man, her fiance, former Scottish soccer pro, Alan Russell. Have you found a dress yet or am I going too fast? Just the venue right now? Well, I haven't found a dress because I can't try anything on right mm, now. So yeah. I have some inspiration. <laughs> I just want it to be very small and intimate and I just, I love this man so much. So I just, I can't wait for, for the day that I can call my husband. Yeah, excited to bring everyone to Scotland. Yes, See exactly. the Scottish culture. Is he going <laughs> to yeah. wear a uh, kilt? I think so. Just weeks ago, he was by her side during a scary medical emergency on their baby moon. You had to go to the hospital, did I hear? <laughs> Is everything okay? I was trying to be the tough girl going, oh, it's just labor, back pains, it's fine, it's a normal thing. And uh, when I got off the plane, like I, I can barely walk, I'm in so much pain. And so then we went to the doctors and they're like, hey, you have a full blown kidney infection, bacterial infection. So I'm glad that, you know, I listened to my body eventually. She hopes others will listen to her message and find their next chapter. I just want people to know that they're not alone and that even through hard seasons, we all feel and we all struggle with self-worth and um, loneliness and anxiety and that uh, there is hope on the other side of it. And sometimes we just have to do some really hard work to get there, but that when you do, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful view.